This is the first of two modules that discuss ARDS. This first module aims to discuss the epidemiology, pathophysiology, and clinical timeline of this disease. ARDS is acute respiratory distress syndrome. Although the formal definition will be discussed in module two, it is important to note that ARDS is acute, occurring suddenly and can progress rapidly. ARDS is a respiratory distress syndrome in which patients often suffer from dyspnea and associated tachypnea. ARDS can be diagnosed in 10 to 15 percent of ICU admissions and in 20 percent of mechanically ventilated patients. 80 percent of ARDS patients will require mechanical ventilation. ARDS is a syndrome describing a disease process. ARDS can have many different etiologies that result in the same physiology, pathology, and treatment strategy. Causes of ARDS include both direct lung injury, such as pneumonia, aspiration, inhalation injury, and pulmonary contusions, or indirect injuries, such as in sepsis, pancreatitis, transfusion-related acute lung injury, or from medications and toxins. The common pathologic feature is diffuse alveolar damage. ARDS, lung injury, and diffuse alveolar damage lead to vascular permeability and protein-rich edema fluid that fills the alveoli and interstitial space. This then leads to impaired gas exchange and hypoxemia. Over time, this parenchymal damage can also lead to hyaline membrane formation, disordered healing, and fibrosis. In early ARDS, between days 1 to 4, alveolar filling leads to pulmonary edema. This is soon associated with interstitial inflammation. Edema and inflammation lead to diffusion limitations and hypoxemia. Later in the course, between days 10 to 14, there may be formation of eosinophilic hyaline membranes and scar formation, which is called the fibroproliferative phase of the disease. In addition to hypoxemia, when lung tissue such as the alveoli and the interstitium, become fluid-filled and inflamed, the lung compliance will decrease. Decreased lung compliance leads to an increased risk of barotrauma. Additionally, there can be pulmonary vascular congestion and disruption, leading to pulmonary hypertension. In summary, the hallmark characteristics of ARDS include hypoxemia and bilateral infiltrates seen on radiographic imaging of the chest.